How's it going? This is Nate with Bleepin' Jeep. Today we're going to talk about Power Probe. If you haven't used one before or even heard of it, <clears throat> this makes it, it's kind of like a test light with some extra features. Um, you can put power and ground to things on demand, which is great. You can also screw things up if you don't know what the hell you're doing. But it's nice if you want to test starters or different things like that. It's nice because when you hook this up to the battery and then you hook, start probing around, it'll tell you negative and positive. Whereas a test light's not going to give you any of that. You kind of got to use some deductive reasoning and stuff to figure it out. But um, this is a great tool. Today I'm going to show you how to use it. So what's in the box? You've got this nice extension. It's got just kind of a basic how-to. Um, actually, I think it came with a manual. <clears throat> I don't know where that would have ended up. I bought this a few years back. Um, anyway, you hook this to your battery, and then you go around and you just start probing stuff with this. Start figuring out what is hot, what is ground. This is grounded all the time, so it's a nice way that you can ground something, like a, a motor or a light, and then you can, uh, if you look close, you see there's a positive and a negative push up and then uh, connect this other side to the other side of your light you can actuate things um, or turn lights on and off focus focus there's negative there's positive it's hooked up to the battery pretty self-explanatory so <clears throat> your ground should be grounding all of your accessories in the vehicle and it'll do this. You can turn that buzzer off. I like having the buzzer on. And then there's positive. It'll tell you how many volts it's seeing from your battery, which is great. And uh, all right, let's show you how to use this thing. Today we're gonna use this on a diesel Mercedes. Um, before I pull this engine, I wanna confirm which one of these bizarre 80s style electrical connectors is uh, our glow plug. Um, relay. So I feel like I know where it is. Let's put a light in here. You can see where the glow plugs are. It's You can see where that little nut is and there's a wire coming from it. There's five of those. You follow those all the way back and it goes to this box right here. Now this box has some mystery wires and stuff coming out of it. I don't know why. I, I think I can trace this and this goes all the way back and disappears in there so I'd be willing to bet this is where our ignition source is coming from I don't know why there's four connections to turn a relay on and off there must be you know two of them that maybe go to the light in the cab and then maybe like one ground and then one positive that actuates this thing now this nice big wire here looks like it's probably a power wire it sure is now I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the alarm I like having the alarm on. There you go. Now this is obviously like an old style fuse. Okay, confirmed everything that we were wondering. These um, must have something to do with communicating with things inside the cab. <clears throat> so we're going to figure that out by, uh, we'll probe these connections real quick and see what kind of readings we get. Got a negative, a negative. A negative and a negative. I'm gonna go key the ignition on, see if anything changes. Okay, ignition is on. Negative, 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 and positive. So this wire right here looks like red with a black line is what our ignition source is so I'm going to do is I'm going to strip some of this back I'm going to put a little flag on there and write ignition source and then hook this back up and actually you can hear that relay turn on and off to heat up the glow plugs whenever I push this back in let's look at another way to use the power probe I bought a truck um, the guy couldn't get it to turn over or anything to work um, 
that didn't matter to me. I'm putting a different engine in it. However, I would like to reuse the starter solenoid, so let's make sure that it wasn't part of the problem. So what we do is <clears throat> I have this rigged up in the configuration that you'd have it on car, ground to ground. Um, this red wire is the power supply, and then this black wire is what would normally go to a starter. So to test this, take your power probe, you connect positive to positive, negative to negative, and you can hear it turn on. Now, we have positive. It's grounded. Um, we've got nothing coming out of here because it's not actuated. So if we take, we push this up to positive, you can hear it click. Now, take it a step further just so you can see I rigged up this light to some alligator clips. I just grounded one side to the battery. The other side, we're going to go to this part of the relay here, which is what actuates or what gets turned on once this thing is actuated. And so, as soon as we hook power to power, the light turns on. Earlier in the video, I'd mentioned that this alligator clip is uh, grounded, so let me show you how you could use that in the real world to test something. So if we take and set the camera down, you hook this to your clip, that's ground, bring your power probe over here, we got nothing, and as soon as we push up, boom, nice bright light. Another nice way to test things. So that's the basics on how to use a power probe. If uh, you liked what you saw and you wanted to see more, click subscribe, um, click a like, and uh, thanks for watching.